Thanks for joining us on a brand new episode of Motorheads right here as a part of Auto Prime. We have, as always, a very special guest joining us. And the context we are going to be speaking about is the evolution and uh, the advancement that we've been seeing, which has been pretty rapid in the premium car space. Yes, of course, we keep talking about some of these products with you all the time, but uh, the strategy behind them is what also interests us. And uh, there's particularly a lot that's been happening with Volvo in India as the brand looks to uh, continue to ramp up its relatively smaller presence when compared to its rivals. There is a new man at the helm of Volvo in India as well. For some time now, we've had uh, the new Volvo boss, that's uh, Tom von Borstorff as well, joining us. And uh, thank you for being here and speaking to us. Thanks for the invitation. It's a little late to say welcome to India, but it's, uh, of course, the first time I know we are meeting. So let me say that to you as well. And uh, it's good to have you here. Thanks so much. Thanks, much. Pleasure to be here and pleasure to be in India as well. Glad to hear it. Uh, it's, it's been a few weeks, of course, now that you've been here and you've had a chance to, uh, to settle in, perhaps, and, and absorb not just the environment, the market, the dust and the heat, um, but also some of the, the, the dynamics that this market keeps throwing up. Uh, your impression before you came in and your impression now? Well, I think uh, you can look, like you said, from many angles and from a, from a living here perspective and from a business perspective. And if I take it from a business perspective to start with, it's a, it's a huge automotive market, which is uh, selling, selling uh, millions of cars. And, and uh, of course, the premium market is still comparatively small compared to that. So, so that's, that's one interesting thing to me. And, and if we look at the global trend, usually the premium segment has tended to grow faster than, uh, than, the, than the main mainstream segment. So that's one very interesting dynamic to me. Uh, looking uh, more in general at, at being here, I think it's, uh, you know, I was expecting uh, hectic traffic, uh, a lot of people, good food, and, and I think I got all of that. So uh, I didn't disappoint uh, you yeah, there, no. I'm guessing. No. And uh, so it's been, it's been great to be here, and I really look forward to, to do business here and to live here. You've also had a chance to travel around the country and uh, I know the, you've already had one launch as well uh, that, that you attended in Hyderabad. So um, what's that like? Because very often, especially for the premium brands, there's a lot of importance obviously to the northern market like Delhi. Uh, but it's the other markets that are now suddenly starting to really open up. So your impressions having traveled around as well? Yeah, I think we've been quite successful in the south uh, up until now as well. So I think the southern markets with, with Hyderabad, with Kochi, uh, with Chennai, with uh, Bangalore are quite interesting for us. So we had a good share in, in Hyderabad and, and the other markets as well. And, and uh, uh, I'd like to see that, that continuing as well. So uh, we just opened up a new showroom in, uh, in Kolkata, uh, fairly recently also in, in Mumbai. So uh, yes, uh, we've had, we have our base, you could say, in, in the NCR, but now uh, try to establish also in all these other cities. So, um, you know, we want to be everywhere in India and. Uh, are on the way of doing that. Uh, with your predecessor as well, Thomas, I remember asking, of course, a lot of this every time we used to meet, uh, where that network expansion is going and what the lo long-term targets are. Uh, it clearly remains that one area which you, you do need to continue to focus on, especially when you compare to your rivals. So what's, the, what's your short-term target and what's your long-term target in terms of just sheer number of dealerships around the country? Yeah. Well, I think that uh by the end of this year, we'll be close to 20 uh, showrooms in, in, uh, in India. And, and that will also be, obviously, then uh, uh, the workshop that we have uh, to, to service the cars that we, that we sell. So that's, that's maybe short term when looking at only at, at this year. And then when we look uh, ahead on, on the next coming five years, I'm sure we will at least double that uh, number. And, and of course, it depends a bit on how the market grows. So I don't want to want to give any promises on the numbers, but uh, if, uh, if the market grows with the expectation we have, uh, um, we will be expanding the network uh, all the time and looking at, you know, which are the places we should open up. I think if you shortlist the big uh, Indian cities where we aren't yet present, I think it's fairly easy to, to pinpoint, you know, what, what will be the interesting uh, uh, cities for us to go to next. Give, give me an example of that, because obviously, if you look at the most vital cities, the number 20 covers you on that. Mm. So when you say that the, the next lot that needs to be there and you aren't there yet, just give me an example of that. Well, if, you know, if I, I, if I take the statistics and, and look at which are the next big, big cities, uh, uh, and I don't, we haven't done any activities there so far yet, but, but it would be your uh, 
Jaipur's, Lucknow's, uh, uh, cities like this that uh, come fairly high on, on the ranking list as well. So they're clearly in your focus uh, when, you, when you look at going forward yeah, with I mean, that plan. Yeah, we, we have a fairly pragmatic view on, on where we want to go. Obviously, some, some cities might be because of, of presence of our existing partners, but, but uh, looking forward, we'd try to expand into the next big cities that we are currently not present in. Um, one aspect, of course, is to occupy that kind of a geographical uh, spread. But the other aspect is to obviously back that up with, with product and with also just um, you know more awareness because I think when it comes to the cars themselves most critics and, and experts uh, alike are agreed that the cars are great I mean I don't think anybody anybody disputes the quality or uh, the performance credentials of a Volvo uh, but the reason why Volvo is still not in that consideration set as a buyer most people are still approaching you know the big three Germans um, and both Volvo and Jaguar Land Rover tend to take the second spot how do you change that? Well, I think it's a uh, car business, as, as you know, having worked for a long time, there's no shortcuts in this business, really. It's, uh, you have to build on all the, all the pillars of, of success. And I think that, uh, you know, we discussed the network. That's definitely one thing. And then I talk both about the, the sales network and, and the service networks, which will build up the trust in, in the consumers that they, they uh, can buy a Volvo car. And uh, that's, that's one thing is a network representation. And, and surely the, the other thing is, is uh, our products, which is obviously the most important thing, that we come out with new appealing products, which I think we do. I mean, we have the XC90 coming now and, and uh, things are very good for it. So product is definitely there, there as, a, as, a, as one important uh, part. And, and thirdly, which you also mentioned, is, is of course uh, the brand awareness. And I think that uh, we have, uh, we have a, an interesting message of being a Swedish luxury car make and, and maybe a slightly different message maybe than and some of the other players in the premium segment and uh, we have uh, you know a clear job to spread the the, the good uh, good news about Volvo cars through marketing uh, as well and I think probably those three when we look at uh, the network the products and and the marketing message that we go out with is 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 going to be the main pillars of of getting the Volvo brand to grow. In terms of products, uh, you obviously have key global flagships like the XC90, which are very important to your portfolio. Uh, from the Indian context, seeing the way the market's been growing and the kind of product, um, performance of products rather, that we've been seeing from the other brands as well, uh, what's, what's the area that you think you need to focus on a little bit more? Is it, is it sedan? Is it SUV? Is it compacts? What do, you, what do you think you should be also stressing on specific to India? Well, I, I'd hate to say that all of them, uh, because that's a very vague answer. So I'll, I'll uh, it's try true, to, though, right? try it's, to yes, it's I'll true. try to open it up with the, the way we we have it now. Basically, we have a, a, a V40, which which uh, starts at 24 lakhs right now, uh, X showroom, and and we have the the XC90, which is uh, 77 lakhs X showroom. So we have a we have a, a good span of of, of products, and and uh, we're positioned uh, everywhere in between. So of course, one thing is that we want to be present in as many segments in, in the premium segment as, as, as possible. That's uh, clearly uh, one thing. Um, I see that, uh, I mean, right now the, the sedan segment, uh, uh, large sedans is definitely one very big, I think it's the biggest uh, segment right now with, with the luxury brands. And of course we want to be there as a, as a strong player as well. At the same time, we know the global trend is very visible in India as well, that uh, people want SUVs. They want big SUVs and they want smaller SUVs. So I'm, I see that's going to be a very important uh, uh, segment as well. Uh, but then clearly, I mean, the V40 has been very, very popular until now and we just launched it this, this summer. So uh, we want to offer that possibility to get into the brand uh, um, and, and to have an attractive price also in the, in the, in the early stage of our or portfolio. So in that sense, yes, I, I, I say that it's basically we want to be offering all, all the products, uh, uh, but I see different, uh, the categories have, have their different uh, roles to play. I mean, that's an answer that actually makes me happy because it means that, you know, we'll keep getting more and more products. So, <laughs> yes. so I'm glad in the sense yeah. that you didn't just say one. Yeah. Um, specific products that I do want to talk about, but uh, let's just pause on that for a quick second. I'm going to take a short break here. We do have to slip into a commercial break, but we are back with plenty more with uh, Tom, so please stay tuned. <laughs>